Hello, this is Invisible Man from palmpreforum.org. Uh, this video will be on universal search on the Palm Pre. Uh, I've actually found a few interesting things about universal search. It's fairly simple, but yet very useful. Um, what universal search is, is basically you can just start typing anywhere on the Pre, as I mean, when you're in card view, and it'll search. Um, say I wanted to find basketball. I type basketball, it pops up this little screen here. I can search Google, I can search Google Maps, Wikipedia, or Twitter. Um, it also does contacts and applications, such as if I search for Google, or Google Maps, um, but Google Maps comes up because that's an application I can launch. Say I search Google West, just whatever. It knows that, okay, it's not local within the phone, so here's the internet, what do you want to search? Um, it also searches contacts, such as if I search for Mike, there's Mike Jones, it comes up, I can, it come, brings up his phone number, brings up his email, and it brings up his instant messenger. I can click any one of those, and it'll actually either call him, instant message him, or, um, email him. Um, also something interesting I found out is I actually, somebody asked a question, can you search for company names and can you group people together? And I actually found out, yes. Um, if I go here, Mike Jones, you see I added some random address and everything. Um, I also added a company for him, Cisco. So what you can actually do is when you're in universal search, I can type Cisco. And that actually shows everybody that's with that company, Mike Jones and John Smith, I put under Cisco. And just to show you how this works, I also added Napoleon Bonaparte to a company called Raid. There you go. It comes up right there. So you can actually do that. And so you could technically group people together. And as you can see, what I did there, I did that a little fast, but if I search for Cisco, I find who I want. I click their name. There we go. It gives me their information. Again, I can show that, um, search Cisco, Mike Jones, there's his information. Oh, wow, that's interesting as well. I didn't know I could do that. If it does search locally and you don't want it to search locally, you want to go to the Internet, you can just tap the little search bar up here, and it gives you the option to go to the Internet. Okay, see, I'm finding new things all the time doing these videos. Um, like I said, this emulator doesn't really come with instructions. Um... Other than that, what else? Um, also, when you're in contacts right here, you don't need to do it through universal search. You can search people's uh, companies, such as Cisco. comes up with that there. Um, you come up with those names. Uh, you can search names. You can search... Uh, people were asking, can you search, like, M. Jones? Yes, it does come up with that. M. Jones, you can search ES. Well, maybe not. Okay. So you do need at least like has to be the beginning i guess first initial last name okay so you can't just search anything and have that come up i guess that's kind of good to be honest um also i know this was in some of my other videos but just to show you the extent of how far universal search goes if you go to memos you can type here um you want to see all the memos that say cheese in them there you go you have your memos um this is actually very extensive. Uh, you can get in your chat and do it, um, such as if I want to send a message to Mike. It says, hey, I want to send a message to John Smith. It says, hello. I can actually go back and find conversations. If there was a bunch here, I could type in a name. Um, it doesn't search for the context, but you can search for names within chat. Um, kind of nice. Um, so it, it is very extensive. I mean, I'm sure there's other things that you could use uh, universal search for. I'm sure there's other ways, other areas where it can be done. But that's about it for this video. I mean, I think I covered it pretty well. Um, again, if you have any questions, comments, put them on my YouTube or on my Twitter, and you can find that link on the uh, profile page. I do read all comments, and I try to answer as many as I can. So until next time, see you later.